uh, I, don't, I don't want to put a number on where we can go. Uh, I think our, our ultimate goal is that we get better every day, and if we get better every day, have 100% buy into what we're trying to do here, I think the sky's the limit for this group of athletes. Um, whether that's NESCAC playoffs, NESCAC championships, NCAA tournaments, I don't know. I just know if we get better every day and reach our maximum potential, I certainly like the possibilities of, of what we're going to celebrate at our year end bank. We've gotten better every game, and so that's certainly a positive. Uh, certainly the highlight of the first semester was our shutout in Hamilton. Uh, to shut out any NESCAC team on the road is, is quite an accomplishment and our guys were able to do that. Uh, so we, we do have some building blocks moving into the second semester. Well, we're, we're trying to be sound defensively, certainly having good depth on our forecheck, being sound through the neutral zone, uh, and, and then certainly taking away time and space with, with good body position in the defensive zone. Um, I think we're, uh, we're getting better at that every day. It was quite a learning curve uh, for the guys to, to get some of the details uh, and nuances down. But every day, again, we're getting better at that. Uh, offensively, we're trying to create more second chance opportunities, get to the interior a little better. Uh, we're battling that a little bit, and, and I think some of our, our um, offensive output numbers would, would prove that. Uh, but again, that's something we're getting better at, and we need to create more second chance opportunities. Uh, to, to get the success at that end of the ice that we need. Certainly being a, being a member of this program from 98 to 02 was special. Uh, you know, there are certain things that are always true with Trinity Hockey and that, that's going to be our work ethic, the character of their player, the character of our players um, on and off the ice. And so those are traditions that are never going to change here at Trinity. Um, you know, we're always going to be that hardworking disciplined team. But many things have changed since then including the, the beautiful rink we have um, and, and some of the, the attention to the strength and conditioning aspect of, of the team um, and then some of the detail in which we're able to break down video uh, to better develop our players. Those things have certainly changed since I was here but the foundation that, that Coach Dunham and Coach Caterizolo um, planted here at Trinity are still uh, still seen every day. I certainly think that the greatest thing about having our rink is it's a constant reminder that the, the Trinity Hockey, um, Tree Men's Ice Hockey program is in fact a family and, and, and that family built us a rink in which we can play on uh, for, for a long time to come. Uh, without the alumni support, without, uh, without their donations and their continued help, we wouldn't have that rink. So that's a constant reminder of what a great program Trinity has, the great tradition of its alumni. Um, that we will hope to continue uh, with, with the, the current team and as they become alumni. As far as recruiting, I think it allows us to get different athletes on the campus as far as there are certain athletes certainly in this day and age that won't, uh, that would shy away from a school without a rink, but then when they come and see our beautiful facility oftentimes that puts them over the top. And, and they want to become a part of this program. Having a packed house like we did opening night was just uh, meant a lot to, to the team and a lot to me as an alum to see the overwhelming support uh, that we get from our student body. I hope that support continues. I think we've got a great, enjoyable product for them to come and watch. I hope that continues throughout the year and, and throughout the years to come. I think one of the best parts about uh, me coming in uh, when I came in is, is the fact that I have a great leadership group in place. I don't think there are two better captains in the NESCAC than Mike DeMeo and Joe Tierney. Uh, they have been the ultimate leaders from the second they, uh, I stepped foot on campus and they have helped everything through the transition uh, on and off the ice. They are leaders and, and we're very lucky to have those two guys uh, along with the other seniors, Paul Jaska and, and Sean McCarthy. We just have a great leadership group in place and as a result of that leadership group I think we're we're going to reach some, some new levels here in the second semester with them leading the way.